Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I've got another altered box, uh, book box. And this one is actually made from a vintage uh, cigar box. And the reason I turned it into a book box is because the cigar box was falling apart. So I had to kind of glue it back together. It wasn't very attractive. So I decided to uh, turn it into a book box. So, <laughs> where to begin? The first thing I did was to make two uh, chipboard covers, and these are just medium weight chipboard covers. And I turn this on its side so I can show you that it's just a regular cigar box, cardboard cigar box on the inside. And I've covered it with paper and painted the uh, inside edge, and that was just with a um, a buttermilk. Um, acrylic paint alright, try this again okay <laughs> so what I've done is I used this paper that I got from Beth in a rack, Beth scrapbook room a while back ago, and I'm sorry y'all I don't know what the paper is, somebody if somebody knows they can put, tell me down there because I have no clue I don't know what brand it is. I don't. I don't know anything about it except for I love it. It's gorgeous. With a little cherub. Okay, so I covered my chipboard pieces with the paper, front and back. It's the same, and I s distressed it with some Lindy Stamp Gang spray in the um, Golden Sleigh Bells, and this one's a Starburst stain love it so I did the whole thing and I misted it lightly first and then I slow pumped to get the little drizzle bits I love that give you some little splotches and then I took another uh, piece of the paper which is actually this one and I cut out this leaf motif right here I kind of fussy cut it not super close because these little tendrils are really thin but I fussy cut it out and then I popped it up popped it up on some foam dots and I did the same thing with this I don't know what you would call that like a little noteworthy a little journaling spot or whatever I fussy cut that out and I kept the bird on there and again I misted it and then did the little drizzly bits with the uh, golden sleigh bells and I popped the bird up above the flourish over here when I put that noteworthy down and I popped it up on single pop uh, not pop dots but foam dots I did this on double okay and then from there let's see this flower right here. I made this flower and it is made from this trim and what I did was if you take this chenille type trim and one of the edges it probably will do it on either edge but if you can find the... I don't want to get too close if you can find the... there's some sewing thread, some actual thread and if you pull that it's a, you know, a running stitch, so it'll pull loose, and it'll make the chenille fringe on one edge, and so that's what, that's how I did this flower. I just cut me a cardstock circle and started gluing it around and around, and I did around like twice, and then put this uh, gold and pearl button that I got in a rack and I'm sorry I don't know who sent that um, and then I misted the whole thing again with the golden sleigh bells but after I misted it I scrunched it up a bit so that the mist isn't solid you can see some bits are misted and some bits aren't I really like the look that gave but underneath that flower is one of these big uh, single petal flowers and again I don't know what brand this is I got this in a rack um, long, long time. 
long, long time ago. <laughs> and I sprayed this also with the golden sleigh bells. And I put that underneath this big flower. These little um, flowers are... This my little... Jilly's Boutique. And sorry, because <laughs> you basically have to destroy the package to get that out. So those came from Beth also. And I barely, barely misted those. They were already the right color and pretty shimmery, so really couldn't tell a difference. Um, I've got a couple of these little tiny rosebuds um, stuck in there, and I've had these for years. Couldn't tell you where they came from or even what brand they are. So. Um, I've got several packages in different colors of those, and I sprayed those also. This is just one of my homemade flowers, and I sprayed it also. I sprayed everything. <laughs> this is just a spray fest. But I didn't do any um, distress ink. Didn't distress any of the edges. Just sprayed. So these flowers, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. These flowers are, these flowers right here. They're called brides. And they were just a plain, let's see. Um, and these are actually Michael's. Michael's stores. But other than that, they're just called Brides. And those also came from Beth. And so I actually sprayed those with the uh, Starburst Stain uh, Frosted Forget-Me-Nots. And I gave that uh, like two... I sprayed it, dried it, and then sprayed it and dried it again. And then over that, I sprayed the um, golden sleigh bells again. Just kind of lightly misted. I wanted the color to match the background. Um, I was going for kind of a monotone and white or cream, actually. A um, couple of more of those little rosebuds that I little twisty the, the wires on. I did that on all of the flowers. And then, let's see. A little uh, gold want to scrap bling. I'm sorry, I just can't back up very far. I'm too close to the table. And I put that here and here and then down here. So let me back up again. Get a view of the whole thing for a second. And this is one of my little polymer clay cherub faces from the uh, oops video where I accidentally broke him while I was. I'm moving my craft room from one room to the other. Hmm. This is the paper that was on the inside. And it's just a text with some graphics over the top. The spine over here, I uh, embossed some uh, cardstock that is, uh, it's like a butter cream color cardstock with that Divine Swirls Cuddle Bug folder. And I embossed it with the Ranger Holographic, uh -huh, there you go, uh, embossing powder on top of that. And then I lightly misted it again with the Golden Sleigh Bells. This trim right here that I did to make it look like the spine is uh, this trim right here. And if I had to guess, possibly it came from Walmart at Christmas time one year because that's just been in my stash for a long old time though. And then on the side, and I'm sorry I didn't get these out, but this is one of the Prima. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now I gotta check. See, I knew I wanted to check. It's the Melissa Francis uh, Resin Cherubs. And I misted it also with the uh, Golden Sleigh Bells to give it that kind of vintage look. And I also painted the edges of the mm -hmm, cigar box and sprayed it also. So basically everything's sprayed. Everything is sprayed. So a little different angle there. There it is. That's what I did on uh, Saturday while my hubby was at work. So Friday and Saturday. Maybe Friday. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've been caught up in a whirlwind lately, I feel like, so I think I might take the rest of the day off and just breathe. So, alright.
believe that's it. I love it. If y'all know what that paper is, leave me a comment down there. Because I'd kind of like to know. Is it older? Is it new? Is it something that's out? I wouldn't even know where to begin. I don't even know what company makes it. So, it's very pretty though. I really like it. I like the color. I love the... What do you call that when it's got the embossing <laughs> already on it? Love that. Alright. I'll holler at y'all later. Bye now.